What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Mauricio Suleiman. Now, get this. Mauricio says that Deontay Wilder deserves another opportunity after defeat by Tyson Fury, says the WBC President Mauricio Suleiman. <clears throat> he says he deserves an opportunity. We will see how things evolve in the coming year. Tyson Fury has entered a mediation process with American rival after dispute over third heavyweight fight. Okay. Um, Suleiman says that Fury retains the full support of the WBC, but has acknowledged that Wilder remains firmly in contention for another WBC title shot. He says there is an issue that I that we are aware of that Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder have some sort of mediation process going on, and that's the only thing, but we don't have any details, okay? He says, we are just hoping that everything gets resolved and everybody is happy, and we see great fights inside the ring. Asked if Wilder could feature in a WBC's future plan, Suleiman replied, Wilder is a tremendous, important element. He has five years a champion of the WBC, and he's extremely loyal. He says the greatest knockout ratio, the percentage is unbelievable, and he is a very dear fighter, a champion in the WBC, and he deserves, of course, another opportunity. He gave Tyson Fury the opportunity, and Tyson Fury beat him, knocked him out, and of course, Wilder is in the mix. He deserves an opportunity and we will see how things evolve in the coming year. Now, you would think, what is the, all of a sudden, the urgency for him to speak about Deontay Wilder in this, at this point of time? That's the, that's the million dollar question you ask yourself about Mauricio Suleiman. And especially when he said he gave Tyson Fury the opportunity and Tyson Fury beat him, knocked him out, and of course, Wilder is in the mix. Okay. Stop right there. See, this already tells us that you should say, well, wow, Mauricio should be praised. Yeah, he should be, you know, he's acknowledging Deontay Wilder. Well, at this point, he should have been did that. Don't you think? Mauricio should have been took this stance. And I'm going to tell you why. He gave Tyson Fury the opportunity and Tyson Fury beat him. Let me, let me tell you something. According to the WBC rules that he is control of, that he follows, supposedly follows, he didn't give Tyson Fury anything. According to the WBC, he earned it. Remember that? See, I thought this was supposed to be a mandatory. Now you see what I'm saying. So if something's a mandatory, how did Tyson Fury... How did Deontay Wilder um, give Tyson Fury the opportunity? He's supposed to earn it by way of the WBC rules. Counterpunch. So why would you say, oh, well, he gave him an opportunity? No. The second fight, it was supposed to be a mandatory fight, a mandated fight. And any time that you have a mandatory fight, there shouldn't be a rematch after that anyhow. Okay, and then, and then he even went on record in saying, we have nothing to do with the mandated date. This is just his opinion. At any time, he doesn't have anything to say about what he's regarding or what he's enforcing. He's just going along with what he heard Deontay Wilder say. This is all nothing more, nothing less. And what we're dealing with is, is a guy's opinion, not a guy putting his, his, his uh, foot down. Because Mauricio, if this was a mandatory, this wouldn't be an issue. Okay, but the smart uh, powers that be Probably Al Heyman implemented, or, or Shelly Finkel implemented, hey, a rematch, con, a rematch clause in this fight, which made it uh, automatically a non-mandated -man fight. But since Mauricio said it was because they wanted to take Dillian White out of the, the, the whole uh, issue, they made and they gave Tyson Fury the same position as uh, uh, Deontay, Dillian White used to have, Okay. That's exactly what happened. So when that funny drug test that he had when he fought uh, uh, Oscar Rivas, right? When he had that, after that, they gave it supposedly to Tyson Fury, and Tyson Fury took the place of Dillian White, which made him the mandate. 
But let me ask you this question, guys, if you're, if you're still with me. What are the chances of Dillian White fighting Deontay Wilder if he had this position, this position? What are the chances of him having a rematch clause in his fight? <laughs> if you ask me, absolutely zero. So if he did get the opportunity, if, and that's a big if, because he never really got it. He really just got it taken from him from some weird type of situation with, you know, the BBB of C and all that crazy stuff over there, right? And VADA had nothing to do with it. And VADA is regulated by the WBC. So I had WBC or VADA had nothing to do with Dillian White getting wiped out or axed out. Okay. And that's exactly what happened. So now he's saying, well, he gave uh, Tyson Fury the opportunity and Tyson Fury beat him. No, he didn't give Tyson Fury shit. You gave Tyson Fury that position. Only you. So don't say what Deontay Wilder gave. That's why I know by default he was just listening to what De uh, Deontay Wilder mentioned. But if you noticed, he didn't say anything about anything else that Deontay Wilder accused Tyson Fury of. Do you see anything about him saying that he cheated or anything like that? He just said Wilder has missed the boat. The matchroom ball, uh, boxing ball said last month. Okay. Well, that's Eddie Hearn. But anything else dealing with that, Mauricio's not even talking about it. He just said they have a mediation process and we know nothing of it. So if you know nothing of it, what does that have to do with that? This is a clear opinion of Mauricio Suleiman. Okay, this is not enforced by any of the bullshit rules that he follows or don't follow. And this is what it is. Okay, so Mauricio putting his foot down, he's just saying uh, some kind words to Deontay Wilder and going along with it. And then I agree, but I don't think he's agreeing for the reasons you think he is, or the same reasons that I would. Okay? But what whatever this is, it doesn't mean anything. He's just waiting to see, like everyone else, how the mediation process goes. So it's not up to Mauricio Suleiman with his bullshit opinion. It's not up to anybody else but the mediation process at this point. You know, and then hopefully Deontay Wilder, which I hope he gets his opportunity to fight Tyson Fury again. You know, and otherwise all that bullshit that was he was accused of and all this reason and for losing makes no difference and makes no use of all at all. OK, it doesn't even make any difference at that point. It just all be for nothing for a bunch of people to talk a bunch of stories about something that won't even happen again. And that's what we're dealing with. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Mauricio Suleiman backing Deontay Wilder, that he deserves another opportunity. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been Counterpunch. Peace.